me slum. Um, so today is my son's birthday. And um, I wanted to share that little story with you because it's uh, kind of a family tradition for me to embarrass my children with the tale of their birth on the day of their birth. So here goes. Um, 28, 28, oh my God. Yeah, 28 years ago. Wow. Today. Uh, well, 28 years ago, like three days ago, um, I went into labor. And it wasn't a particularly harsh labor at first. It was just regular, you know, a uh, couple of labor cramps here and there, nothing like you know how sometimes you get labor pains and you get a, a the pang of labor and then 45 minutes later you get your second pang and it's like oh okay there's some timing in between and then the third one comes about an hour or so so you have some actual schedule for the pangs of labor and then some people get them 10 minutes apart 15 minutes apart it, it gets the closer it gets to the time of the birth the closer the contractions become my contractions didn't come close at all. <laughs> so we went to the hospital and we wanted to find out what was going on because I was in labor. It wasn't active labor and we didn't understand what was going on. I hadn't broken my water yet. So um, my doctor, who happened to be at the hospital at the time when we went in, um, checked me out and he was like well you know I'm going to do my rounds and I and I'll come back to see you tomorrow you're not in active labor but we want to keep you because um, it's a high-risk pregnancy so they're going to keep me overnight and uh, keep an eye on me but he didn't expect the baby to come overnight which he didn't um, <laughs> skip forward 72 hours from <laughs> the beginning of labor and my doctor's like listen we need to get this baby out of you it's 72 hours of labor you're not in fully active labor yet but this child is trying to push its way out of you and it's causing damage to your spine now and you're in a lot of pain and i was in a lot of pain and he was like listen i want to be able to give you the epidural because you've been in labor pains for three days now and um, you're going into your fourth day and this is a little ridiculous and we want to give you something for the pain but if we give you something for the pain it might take the edge off of the kid as well and the kid will back off of the labor so we need to give you something to speed up the labor first before we give you something for the pain so they started me on a drip of Pitocin which did in fact speed up the labor but did not break my water so after a while I want to say about eight hours into the Pitocin, the labor became more active, but again, my water still hadn't broken. So um, the nurse on staff, it was it must've been like six o'clock in the morning. She was like, listen, your doctor's coming in soon. And he already left us a message that if he was in, uh, if, if you hadn't broken your water by a certain time, that we needed to break your water uh, by 9 a.m. or something like that. Really? Whatever. Okay, so they needed to break my water. Finally, they did break my water and, and they kind of um, pushed me further into labor, basically. And my doctor came in, finally, and I'm still not fully in active labor yet. And I'm going absolutely mad at this point. I'm like, dude, what the hell do we do? Do I jump up and down? Do I have sex? Whatever it is I need to do. Let's get this baby the fuck out of me. Let's just do this already. And um, he did what he needed to do. And 12 hours after the Pitocin started, so 72 hours plus 12, 84 hours in, finally, I'm in active labor and I have my child. I, I think it was maybe a 45 minute delivery. It actually wasn't that long. Once the labor actually kicked in and the epidural kicked in, finally, thank 
the gods. Um, I was numbed and I was ready to go and we had the baby and boom, uh, the baby was born. It was my redhead. The baby was so pink. The, it, his skin was so white and he was so pink and the hair was so red. It was orange on the top of his head. So it was just an orange and pink baby. It was beautiful. And um, so there it is. 28 years ago today, my beautiful, beautiful little red-headed baby was born after driving me absolutely nuts for almost four days straight. Um, although I've got to say, not the most painful labor I've ever been in. So there's that, I guess. Um, yeah. So yay, happy me second born happy 28th birthday i hope this has embarrassed you as much as the uh last 27 years of this has and um here's to 27 more years because who knows how many more years i've got left on this so um i love you baby and um enjoy your day and also to everyone else the uh Warning still stands true. Beware the Ides of March for everyone except an Ides of March baby. So there you go. Because the Ides of March babies are the soulless ones who will, you know, steal your souls. Because that's what they feed on. And on that note, I will talk to the rest of you soon. Bye-bye.